All right, let's talk about graphing translations, especially when we have multiple translations or transformations going on. All right, so in this first example, we have g of x equals negative absolute value of x plus 3, all plus 1. All right, so we need to identify what the negative does, what the plus 3 does, and what the plus 1 does to our basic absolute value graph. Well, the negative flips our v absolute value over the x-axis. The plus 3 moves the graph 3 units to the left, and the plus 1 moves our graph up 1 unit. All right, and so here in the picture, we can see our old, our basic graph here in blue and our new graph in red. So how are you guys going to graph this? Well, I usually tell students, start at your easiest point. Here, for the absolute value v, that's the origin. And where did this origin move? It moved to the left 3 and up 1. And then the negative out in front flips our v over. All right, and so you can see how we're able to graph our new uh, shifted absolute value function from our basic. All right, here's another one. g of x equals x minus 2 in parentheses all squared plus 3. So again, we need to identify what these do. The minus 2 moves the graph two units to the right. Again, keep in mind, guys, on these horizontal shifts, it is opposite sign. Okay, and so this minus 2 is actual, actually two units to the right, and the plus 3 moves our graph up three units. And so we can see here our basic x squared function in blue. And again, how are you going to graph it? Start at your easiest point. Note here the origin. Where did it go? The origin goes right 2 and up 3 to this point right here. And from there, we're able to graph our parabola. All right, what about negative square root of x plus 1 minus 2? Again, we need to identify the transformations. What do we have? We have a plus 1, so that moves the graph one unit to the left. Again, keep in mind, opposite sign on the horizontal shifts. The minus 2 moves our graph down two units. And the negative out in front flips our basic square root of x function over the x-axis. And so here you can see we have our basic function here in blue. This is standard old square root of x. And where did our origin go? Our origin went down 2, left 1, and then flipped over the x-axis to get the graph right here. All right. So, let's actually take a look at this step by step. Let me grab my graph for here. All right. And so here is our basic square root of x. All right. And here is moving it to the left one. All right. And so this gives me the square root of x plus 1. And then here would be also shifting it down 2. All right, and so I can actually take that one away. And I have our, here in this green, this is going to be our square root of x plus 1 and to the left and then down 2. All right, and then if we want to stick a negative out in front, we have to flip it. All right, and we can see here in the red how it flips from the green. All right, so here in the green, and then we apply a negative out front and flip it. All right, and so you can see how that graph actually appeared on that last slide.